everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I definitely spent a lot of time shopping the January sales this year and that is not something that I ever really do. I've got to be honest, I'm not really a huge sales shopper. I find it quite overwhelming. I find anything where there's like lots of things and lots of like um, words and colours and everything's kind of jumbled up. I find it a bit confusing. So I've never really enjoyed it. However, there's been a few brands that I have been admiring online that really got me digging into the sales a little bit more. Brands that maybe I couldn't necessarily afford um, or justify purchasing full price, but definitely could in the sale was how I was kind of looking at things. Um, also just kind of picking up some bits and pieces that I needed really, um, just some essential bits and pieces that I could pick up in the sale as well, which I actually hadn't done before. I did quite a bit of shopping. Now there is also something else in this video um, that was a happy surprise and I'll be getting into that as well. But for the most part, here's everything that I purchased during the sort of end of December lull, um, beginning of January refresh, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna start it off with this dress from Ghost. And I don't know if anyone will remember, but my hen party the day before, like, well, we did like a three day hen party and I actually wore a Ghost dress for the first day of that, or the, or the daytime of that where we did like a gin tasting. And I'm pretty sure it was this dress. Um, maybe slightly different now, but it was in an ivory colour because obviously bride vibes. Um, but when I saw this colour, I could not, like, I could not leave it behind. It is a beautiful kind of berry shade. I'm really sort of into these more muddier, natural heritage colours. And this has, has fast become one of my favourites. I was actually looking at a Beulah dress that's not too dissimilar to this, but it was a lot more expensive. I was hoping it was gonna go into the sale, but it didn't. And I think this one did go into the sale. So I picked it up. There was quite a lot of pieces that were, just, that were sold out. Um, and um, I didn't manage to pick those up. This one quickly went into my basket. Now I rolled the sleeves up because the sleeves are a little bit funny on it. Um, and I've teamed it with a headband because it stops me faffing with my hair in these videos. Um, but I'm really, really in love with this. It's got a beautiful covered belt, but you can obviously swap that out. And I've got covered buttons as well, which is something that I include a lot in my own kind of design process. I like the V-neck. I'm not usually like, you'll know, V-neck has not been my style over the years, mainly because of like my chest. And I'm still getting used to wearing it. It's really nice to be able to wear the, like have it as an option. Um, but especially at this time of year, it can be a bit cold, but I'm good at the moment. So it comes in basically every single colorway that you could ever dream of. I'll link this in the description box down below. Also, I wanted to mention that some of these items I'll actually be unboxing with you as well, because I haven't, opened them yet so I was buying all of these things and I was like you know what I'm gonna do an old school what I bought video and show you pretty much everything so this is the ghost dress on um, I've actually popped this on it needs to be washed and I was gonna steam it just to show you but I actually wanted you to see how creasy it does actually get um, it is quite a creasy fabric I can't lie but I love the color of this so much I swapped out the belt for my usual Hermes, which I think gives it a bit more of a modern feel. It can be a bit, it can look a little bit, I think sort of like 50s or 40s. Um, again, with the sleeves, I'm kind of like, this instantly makes it a bit more flattering because these really are just like uh, single, it's like just like hemmed, there's no cuff. So I think I prefer it more like that, if that makes sense. But yes, it's, oof, not done my belt properly at all. Um, but yeah, I love this. And I think the fact that it comes in so many different colorways is um, lovely. I just wish it was a little bit less creasy um, because I like to wear these things generally just around the house all the time. And I don't want to look down and be like, you look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards, Lydia. Beautiful color, beautiful shape. Modernized it a little bit with the styling, I think. But generally, just needs to be less creasy. Why are you so creasy in this day and age? Goodness me. Next up. Now, this piece. Oh my goodness. I think I got this for more than half price. 
and this is from a brand that I have been utterly like obsessed with. I probably check their website um, multiple times a week just to see if there's anything new that's landed. Um, it's, a, it's a brand called Laura Green and I think it's, it's just Laura Green isn't it? Laura Green London and um, wow, beautiful. The craftsmanship is absolutely exceptional but my goodness. They are expensive and they're worn by the, the the princess of wales the new princess of wales and lots of other people as well but um so i can kind of understand but i was reluctant to purchase full price i did not think that they would be having a sale and i did not think that i would get this coat in the sale either however the stars aligned and i got this coat for like more than half price well like, i would probably say it's a coat but it can also be a dress it's like a really beautiful it's a coat dress, and I guess that's the whole thing. It's not supposed to feel as bulky as a normal coat, but you can wear it kind of inside to outside. I would suggest maybe like a cashmere dress underneath it, if you are gonna be outside and then going inside. Just something a little bit warmer, because I did wear this to farmhouse, and um, I didn't put anything underneath other than like a, a little base layer, and I was cold. <laughs> I was cold when I was outside, but I was perfect when I was inside, so I need to like get the balance right. Now, when I shared that I got this on my Instagram stories, I got a message from someone being like, and I don't know whether this was like a subconscious thing, but they were like, ah, you've got the same coat dress as the Princess of Wales. And I actually didn't realize that she actually owned this one. Um, and I went and I checked, absolutely right, I've got the exact same one. I am seriously the worst fan girl ever. But um, it was this particular color. This is more of like a tealy green. Um, it's got more of a bluey undertone to it than my usual green tone, but it's nice to do something different and it fits like you would not believe. And actually, I love the buttons on this. It's got kind of like um, leather, leather buttons that are gonna age quite nicely the more that you wear it. Uh, fully silk lined as well, which is beautiful, and a big belt with um, a covered buckle as well. I cannot express to you how beautiful this is. It is a size eight, because that was, it was basically, I think it must have been like a sample or something like that that went into the sale. Um, but it is a size eight, which I would usually get a size six. I could definitely do with having the arms shortened just a little bit and maybe a little bit taken out of it. Um, but for the most part, it's very, very comfy, very, very beautiful. And I actually cannot believe that I got my hands on it. I will definitely be purchasing more from this brand. For their like clients, what they offer in London, if you're coming from overseas, they will um they'll like book a space in a hotel i think for you because their showroom is quite far outside of london um it's not easy for me to get there so what i might do is like every so often just meet them at a hotel and go through the collection with them which would be such a dream um but it is just the most beautiful brand check them out very very expensive so um just be be warned <laughs> because i was like when i i was like oh my god i love that dress oh my goodness <laughs> Well, this is definitely the win for me because obviously I bought this knowing that this was going to be a little bit too big for me because this is an eight and not a six. The only thing that I would say that is noticeable about the size is the length of the cuffs. The cuffs do need to be taken up to about here. But the way that I combat that is I actually ruch them a little bit. So um, I often put like little hair bands or something just to hold them up. Um, until I find someone that I trust enough to take this up. But can you see what I mean about it being a bit of a dress as well? It is a dress. Like, there's, even though this is wool and it's absolutely beautiful, there's a lightness to the wool. And uh, it really, really is exceptionally flattering. The shoulders are perfect. I genuinely think that I am going to be like a diehard fan of this brand forever now. This I, when I put it on, I just, I actually couldn't believe how beautiful it looked on. I just felt a million bucks the moment that I put it on. So yeah, very, very happy with this. Love the look, love the style. I can't believe that I managed to get this in the sale. So I'm super, super happy with this, but I'll link her website in the description box down below. Next up is a piece from another brand that I have been loving and following online. Again, so much of this was already sold out. There were so many exceptional pieces that this brand did and I was gutted that I missed out on them. I literally said to them, if you get any of these items back in stock, please let me know. I don't think they will, um, 
but I'm gonna keep checking and refreshing for their next season stuff. But this is a brand called Jane, and they used to be called something different. A really random name, which I can't remember. But anyway, less of the rambling, I'm gonna unbox it with you. Now this is definitely more of a spring summer purchase. I think this is probably why it was left in stock, um, because people aren't necessarily shopping for those kinds of things at the moment. But I thought that I would get so much wear out of this um, in the summer months. This is a very ooh, mean kind of print. This is their Oakley dress and this has an agapanthus print on it. It's sort of a mix of um, pinks and greens and a little bit of ivory as well. I loved the color of this but then the little keyhole detail. It's got covered buttons, um, beautiful short puff sleeves as well. It does look quite roomy for a size six. So um, I'm going to have to give you a bit of a first impression when I try this on because I am not too sure, but beautiful length, ankle length. I just thought for kind of summer garden parties or if I'm going to any events like the races or what have you, I thought that this would be a really lovely option with either a hairband or a hat or something like that. It is a very, very beautiful dress. I'm just discovering so many wonderful brands at the moment that make dresses that I really, really like and shapes and silhouettes. The only thing I will say that I am sad about, um, and I don't think that any of it has arrived just yet, but I've been buying some new brushed cotton pajamas, um, mainly because we went shopping for Ali before Christmas and he got the most beautiful cashmere dressing gown from New and Lingwood. And we were going around all of those stores. We went to Turnbull and Assa, New and Lingwood, um, lots of other ones, Crockett and Jones, and I was almost jealous that there isn't that kind of shopping experience for women. It is honestly it's spe spectacular. You, work, you, you walk in, all of the men are suited and booted, the stores are beautiful, and the service, like, hello sir, it's just, it's just wonderful. And ev there's a real emphasis on like the craftsmanship and the fabrics, and it just feels so wonderful and new and lingwood i would say is probably the one that i'm more um speaking about although actually no turnbull and Asa as well they had like a whole room of pajamas and these were like every pajama you could ever think of and i i, re I was really jealous that there wasn't a brand as beautiful and like steeped in, in heritage as that for women they all just do men's stuff i think i went into a, another place a couple of doors down that was um actually a woman's name that did men's shirts and they had some women's pyjamas in, in the window, but they were silk and they were made to measure. And I was like, I'm not going that far. <laughs> but I just wanted some really wonderful quality brushed cotton pyjamas to see me through like autumn, winter, um, into spring to keep me nice and warm, but also that look nice because his cashmere dressing gown is like nothing I have ever seen. It looks like he's wearing a suit coat when he's wearing it. Like like an overcoat or something. The, 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 the cut, the shape, everything, perfect. Okay, I was gonna do cutaways to the side um, of the previous clips, but I tried this dress on and I thought, you know what? It's probably best that I just tell you about it. This dress is probably like two dress sizes too big. This is supposed to be their size six, so I'm thinking that maybe this just isn't gonna be a brand that I'm able to, to shop from necessarily because it's like big under the arms and everything, so it's, it kind of needs a whole, I don't even think you'd be able to tailor it because of the size of it, which is such a shame. There's just so much fabric. Oh, so I'm not even bothered trying to style it up because it's not like I can get it in my size because this was the smallest size that they had and um, it doesn't fit. Sad times because I think it's absolutely beautiful, but it is not meant to be. But if you're looking for a dress like this and maybe um, you think it will fit you, <laughs> then it's beautiful. It is such a beautiful, beautiful fabric and um, print. I love the way the pink and the green looks together, but sadly, not meant to be. Next up, I picked up my black watch blazer from Suster and Hicks. I have to take it back just to be tweaked a little bit, it's a little bit tight across the back, um, but it is absolutely wonderful. Look at that detailing. I've got the gilded buttons 
which are such a wonderful touch. Say that the jacket no longer fits me or suits me, I can take these beautiful buttons off and have them used for another item of clothing as well. So really, really wonderful, um, super classic, and I'm just gonna enjoy wearing this so, so much, whether that's draped over my shoulders, I was so gutted I wasn't able to wear it over Christmas, but draped over my shoulders, like so, oh. Imagine this over my, um, what's it called? My Johnston's of Elgin jumper dress. But I'm just gonna pop back, just have it tweaked just a little bit so that I can get my perfect silhouette and um, then I'm good to go to order some more. Next up is more of a practical purchase. These are some new bath towels and hand towels and bath sheets from Piglet in Bed. And oh my gosh, I think I have nailed the shade of green that also goes with our bathroom really well because this little stripe here matches our Porter vanity unit so well. And then this color is gonna be so wonderful in there. Basically, I think something must have happened with our towels and they may have been left like sat in water. I, it's probably me, I'm terrible with things like that. I, we just couldn't get the smell out of them basically. So I thought I would treat us to some new towels and these were in the sale. I loved the color. And one of the things I always say is I, I, I cannot get out of the shower unless it is a bath sheet. I hate bath towels. I only use them for my hair. Um, so I always want a huge, big towel to just wrap myself in oh, when I get out of the shower. And these are so soft. This is actually my first, my first ever um, piglet in bed purchase. And these are 100% cotton which is good as well. The trim is polyester, but the, um, the actual towel itself, they're 100% cotton. So very, very, very happy with those. I'll link them if they're still in stock um, in the description box down below, because you never know, you might want some too. <laughs> so for this next one, I have a bit of a story time to tell you. And I don't want to use the buzzword of manifestation, but I always find that if I put something out there into the universe like that, like if I let people know that I want something, it happens. And I kid you not, I put this out there into the universe and the next day I got a message from the Hermes Boutique. My mind was blown. My mind, my mind was honestly blown because I can't even put into words. I like, this has never happened. I've never been to the um, store to pick up a bag before you'll know that one of my previous bags I got during COVID and it was actually couriered to me from the Bond Street store. This time I went to the um, Sloan Street store. That's a store that I've been going to more recently. I find it a little bit quieter than the Bond Street store personally. The last time I went to the Bond Street store, it was so intense. And I was like, oh, I wonder if there's like different, different stores where it's just a bit quieter. And I shouldn't be telling you my secret here, but the Sloan Street one is wonderful. Everyone is so nice. I had champagne and I got the bag that was on my wish list. And I have to thank the elves for this one. <laughs> So anyway, I thought I would unbox it with you because this is something that I would always do here on my channel. Let's do it! <laughs> All of this stuff out of the way because we are an accident waiting to happen at the moment. I also have to tell you a story about this bag as well because I actually bought this bag second hand. No, in fact, I bought it vintage. And it was, honestly, I couldn't believe it. It was such a steal. If it's back online now, I will pop a link in the description box down below because if you're someone that doesn't want to go through the boutique and if you're someone that doesn't mind buying it via a reseller um, then I'll link it in the description, it's probably gone. I couldn't believe that I managed to get my hands on it but it's probably gone. But anyway, anyway, I've totally, totally rambled with this. So, what size do we think it is? I think we know. And this is probably my favorite size of Hermes bags, um, in my honest opinion. However, I would say that this is better than the Cellier because the Cellier is like a, it, it almost comes up bigger in my opinion because I've got the other Cellier as well. Oh my gosh, I forgot that I bought the two Twillies as well because I'm totally, 
like <laughs> nuts. <laughs> This is my gold with gold hardware, 25 Birkin Ritorne, and the leather is Togo, which is my first ever Togo leather Hermes. I would probably say that this is my favorite size. That's actually a bit controversial. Most people like the bigger ones. Um, this is the perfect happy medium between like a 28 Kelly, a 30 Birkin, and a mini. Like a mini, it, you don't get a lot in a mini. It's a real summer bag. I always end up carrying my phone. This is a bit more practical, and this definitely feels um, like smaller than the Cellier version that I have. I don't know why that is. Like even when I was talking to my essay about it, he was like, I don't know why you think that, but it definitely does. It feels so much smaller. Um, and obviously in the classic gold for me is going to be perfect because it's one of those colours that I just wear and wear and wear and you take out the little Ujimi foot. Now I think I will probably wear this as big as possible because it's such a great size that it doesn't matter. I always like to wear mine like open and kind of a bit like easy to access but that's where this little pouchy magouch that I got in my what I got for Christmas video is going to be so useful. Now this said this was a 25, but I don't think this is a 25 because it doesn't fit into Maybe you have to put it in first and it's not something you can just take out. Yes. So that was why me getting my little pouch was very handy because it means that I can quickly slip that out and slip it into my other bags really easily and um, just take all of my important stuff. I've still got all of the little plastic seals on which I need to take off because um, my essay was like, don't leave them on because they can discolor the metal and you can't sort it out. I got it with the most beautiful navy twillies. I bought two of them to protect the handles. Although I'm someone that loves to wear and, and use my bags in that capacity. Uh, this was just pretty much like, I just love the way that it looks. If you think of this with like white dresses in summer, you know that I'm going to be wearing it a lot. It doesn't go with this outfit, unfortunately, but if I change the belt, perhaps. Um, but yeah, so this was like one of those moments where I was kind of like, I put something out into the universe. I wasn't expecting it to come back around in that capacity and it did. Very, very happy with this, really just over the moon and more than anything, I'm just happy to have this out of the box now because I've not been able to like um, wear it or anything like that. So yes, now it's out of the box, I can actually admire it and love it. So that's made me very, very happy. So next up is a bit of a storage um, hack and piece. I got this from Amazon. Um, unfortunately, I've not managed to get them in my shoes yet, but what I wanted to do was really kind of dress up these um, shoe areas, kind of similar to Ali's, because I'm just so inspired by his dressing room at the moment. It looks so nice in there. Um, I bought these little shoe trees from Amazon. I just can't get them to go in yet. And I bought for the size of shoe that I am, but maybe they're just not for, they did say that they were for women's feet, but maybe they're not, maybe they're too wide, I don't know. I'm gonna to speak to Ali about it. Um, but I loved these little plaques on here and these gold um, details. So I'm still on the hunt for those because I really want to dress this kind of area up as well. If you know of anywhere that maybe makes these bespoke, then please let me know in the comments because I want to, to do, I want to get that done. Obviously, I've still not got my rails put in, although I think I might have found the rails that I need. I also bought myself some really lovely hangers from Amazon as well. Um, I'll, let me get them, I'll show you. So this was the other piece of storage that I purchased as well. Um, I wanted to basically have all of my um, jackets and blazers on these and these have like a gold hanger to them which most hangers are obviously silver um, and I love the fact that it actually had like the shoulders to it. Now this is something I'm not going to say very often but this they're too wide. I know I've got like the widest shoulders in the world but they were too wide and so I've given them all to Ali. I actually found these on Amazon as well. I think I ordered 10 and they weren't that expensive. But they look really uh, just very, very lovely. And in fact, they look fantastic in his dressing room. So I can't complain. Um, a little gift for him there from me. <laughs> 
And finally, another practical purchase is this from Amazon, and this is the Stanley Insulated Mug. Now, I don't know if I've invented something here and I should be selling it for gazillions of pounds or not. I'm, I couldn't find what I was looking for. But basically what Ali and I wanted was a mug that we could take on our dog walks, drink our coffees from, and then like hang so that we don't have to hold it the whole way, if that makes sense. And I had to makeshift one with these little lanyards from Amazon and then I ordered the Stanley mug in this in this great colour <laughs> that completely matches. I ordered us two of these and um, basically you would have probably heard about all of this in the first vlog back but Ali and I just making changes in our lives and wanting to streamline processes and things like that a little bit better and having our coffees on the go rather than um, sat around is part of that process as well. Let's see if we actually stick to it. But I will link this in the description box down below. I'll link the little lanyard thingy as well. So we went for a really lovely like leather one as well. Um, but let me know if someone has actually done this. Like all they needed to do was just have like a little clip. It actually doesn't need to be this long, but I thought that once I've finished my coffee, I could just put it around my neck and I've just got a coffee mug hanging from my neck. It may be different. I maybe will like clip it to something. I don't know, because I can like obviously clip it through. I don't know, but <laughs> anyway, that was everything that I purchased. If there's anything I've forgotten in this video, I might just add it on to the end in a really slapdash kind of way because I um, I think I've put everything together and kept it all together. There's been like boxes in my dressing room, like piled high, waiting to film these videos after the holidays. Either way, everything that I can link will be linked in the description box down below. Otherwise, I'll just link to the brand websites if you want to maybe have a look around and um, just have a look at the things that I've shown you or look for anything that maybe suits you or whatever. Um, so yeah, everything linked down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.